Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Cynthia and I thank you for clicking on this video here. So here we are with, let's see, this is like the second half of May empties and one week of June, I guess. Either way, every time I have this filled, I want to try to do an empties video. So we will see how that continues. But yeah, so here we are. These are all the items that I've used up so far. I'm gonna try to get through it pretty quickly. Who knows how that will go as well as, you know, I get to talking. But let's just get right into it. Now, I keep telling them not to put the box in here, but to put the actual empties. But you guys know, if you guys have been watching me, this is the Olay, uh, as I used to call all the time, oil of Olay face cream that my boys and my husband use. And, you know, if I ever run out of whatever I'm using, I'll use it too. But there's that. And then as well, you guys know that we use these Equate Wipes for our bums. So we use several of these. Probably a couple more will come out. If not, uh, we definitely use more than just one. So let's get into this candle right here. I actually really ended up liking it. I think I bought it for like 20, 20 something dollars, maybe 25. These are pretty pricey, you know, if they weren't on sale. But lately I've noticed that a lot of her candles have gone eat down and price even more as far as sale. Like $19 now or maybe 14 I will check and I will put the price down here but yeah anyways this matcha business from forever mood it was good um it did get really really sooty like I don't like looking at all that set like super dark black right here um so I tried to clean it off a little bit and I got a lot of it off um on one side it was more because if you guys see the wick it's leaning more toward that side over there uh, over here and uh, this part was the one that was the sootiest but it does smell good I burned this one in my since it's a one wick I was like I'm just gonna try it in the one room not like the big living room and I could smell it in the whole room like it was pretty decent I would call it more of a medium burner but I did like it and I can't remember all the notes. I know it has like a coffee note. Okay, I got off of here really quickly to look on Sephora's website for the notes. It says they don't carry this one anymore. So maybe that's why this one and a couple of others were on sale for a pretty decent lower price. But I couldn't find it. And I cannot see these words. All I know and remember was that it had some kind of like a coffee note and uh, vanilla and I don't remember the rest but it is a little sweet to me honestly I smelt a little chocolatey type of candle I liked it so I would only purchase it again if it was on sale I think it is pricey for a single wick but that's me I mean you know we complain about these being $26 and this was on sale for 25 or something like that because they're originally I was looking at now at some other candles there and they're $38. So yeah, there's that. So yes, uh, now we have vanilla musk. I burned this one in my son's room. This is not a strong burner. So you will be able to smell it slightly in a smaller room and I don't think of oh, I'm not going to repurchase this one unless if you could buy it for like 75% off I never never say no sometimes to those but I mean it's not going to be my first choice it was okay I didn't hate it I didn't love it but maybe because I couldn't smell it that well um it wasn't all that to me so whipped vanilla soft cedar wood and suede musk is the notes to this one so there is that and then we have positively sweet now this one is one of those that i had grabbed so many backups i don't know how many i have put away but they are in several different places and i yeah i need to organize them better so this one is such a good chocolatey good candle like i really love this one now i gotta talk about the burn i can't remember the last one i had um that i've burned but this one was uh basically dudding out after maybe a little bit more after the halfway point but yeah i still just continued to burn it i could smell it i put it into my room really still love the sweet chocolatey scent and it does have that cherry uh scent that you can get from this 
oh, just so, so good. And I still love this one, even though like it was studying out. Now we have kitchen lemon, of course. I did use it in the kitchen. So that was one of the soaps that we used up recently. And look, I used up the white gardenia in Tiki Beach. This is a recent one. I got about two weeks ago now when the sass started. And I actually liked it. I'm not huge on gardenia anymore. I say anymore because I used to be back some years ago and um yeah but now this one is a little bit more subtle i did get the tiki beach portion like the coconutty portion of this candle and i totally i liked it i didn't love it so it's not like i want to run out and go purchase another one but let me tell you if these came out and they went 75 percent off i would purchase one more at least i enjoyed it you know fairly well um, but again, it's not my favorite. Like I feel like, oh my God, I got to go get me another one. No, I don't feel like that. And the gardenia note is not too, too strong, which gardenia notes are known to be, in my opinion, super strong, especially in the candles. Like our white gardenia candle is, or rainforest gardenia, same candle, are so, so strong. And this one was a little bit toned down. And I don't know if it was because of the, uh, maybe that warm vanilla musk. But either way, like it was toned down enough to where I really enjoyed it. And I didn't feel like the gardenia note took over completely. So I like that candle. And this right here I'm getting rid of because maybe I'll dump a little bit because of the, the color and the consistency is bad. I'm having to go through my... Um, I'm going to do a declutter, like I've already said it, like I'm gonna do a declutter, hopefully within the next couple of days, because some of my body creams are going bad. And this one, in my opinion, is one of them, vanilla bourbon, it's any vanilla notes, I need to try and, I need to try to use them up like within six months, I think, I don't know. So uh, yeah, this one is a really good scent. I really, really love it, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. You guys see, and then you get you get way more oil instead of the lotion. Like it's not mixed well anymore. This is just like, in my opinion, awful. So look at how ugh, clumpy and gross it looks. Yeah, that's going in the trash anyways. So this is going out in the trash, unfortunately. Um, I've kept it for too long and didn't use it up and that's why I'm going to go through my body creams because I want to try to go through them whatever is bad I need to get rid of obviously throw away but whatever um, is still good and maybe has vanilla I need to try to have a friend family someone else have it and use it up so it doesn't go bad so we have uh, Therabreath the oral rinse this is the one we use here uh, we'd get like the different colors a lot of times I'll get like the the green one of these and yeah so that's that and then we have this love cotton candy champagne uh scrub exfoliating scrub i use these these are not like super these are very gentle i would say it's not really even exfoliating but i like the way they feel i love the way this one smells so i used it up and i use it every day almost after i do my shower gel i do like three different things i do like my my bar soap my shower gel then this and i'm happy with it so i guess i have fun in the shower okay <laughs> so here's another one of these so we're just gonna put it there and this one, it got sudy on me. I probably burned it for too long. It was good. I really love this one. I would definitely repurchase another one. If I haven't already, I can't remember. Like, I do have another one. Great, because I, I want to have another one. This is so good. Sweet lemon, sweet tea and lemonade scent. So, so good. I love my lemon scents. And I think it was decent and strong enough for me. Um and i loved it so of course i have another one i already bought a backup and let me show you sorry let me show you the notes in case you guys wanted to see that really quickly brewed sweet tea fresh squeezed lemons and sugared crystals it's not too too sweet of a candle either and you get a little bit in my opinion of that tea note all right you guys don't know this but my phone just stopped recording and i had to sit down and erase some items in storage and 
let's just get back in <laughs> so okay where was i blue orchard skies i don't know what i said but i really do love this scent on cold sniff it is not a strong scent at least it wasn't in my home i know a couple of friends that said it was stronger in theirs and it projected um it didn't project too much here but it did i could smell it in the one room at a medium throw and i got another one of these because honestly even just smelling it on cold sniff i love the apple note in here and this was a gratis an item that i received from work for free so it has pink lady apple soft white woods and fresh orchard air i just get so much apple goodness in this one and i just really loved it so there is that one happy that i have one more i did sell out of like them at work and we don't have any at my work but we have them at another um location i went to yesterday in delta shores if you guys saw that walkthrough this is a little study this is a brand called nectar and bath treats and it was in the where did i see this it was at the universal studio city walk like the city walk area this is expensive it was like 30 something dollars for a one wick it didn't burn too well it wasn't strong i could get just a little bit of the strawberry um and i would not repurchase just because unless like if i was to find it a half off maybe uh this was so beautiful though like when you first look at it that's what sold me i'm gonna see if i have like a b-roll i had took a video of this store maybe after sass even though it was some time ago i'll still go ahead and post that walkthrough of the, this place because it's so beautiful in there with the items that they have and so i will try to either put a picture or a b-roll of what this candle actually looked like in the beginning but i don't recommend that you buy it i bought this expensive candle so that you don't have to basically so yes i do not recommend it it was too expensive and it was not strong enough and look it's a little sooty i didn't clean that one so that's, that's as sooty as it got and this one right here uh we just have a couple more candles aloe and palm this is a strong one i would give it a seven or an eight a bit sooty <laughs> i was burning it for a long time i do like this one but this is more if you like more of the earthy side and this is an earthy that i could do because i'm not too you know too too big on earthy scents but it has the fresh palm leaves you clean eucalyptus and vetiver woods and i feel like you definitely get all of that um and it's just refreshing at the same time so i did like this one so there is that um carrot cake this is like one of the number one single wicks that is so so strong this one would be definitely a repurchase i have another one that i'm started burning uh recently because i was enjoying this one so much and the other one i have i think is the newer packaging that right now you actually can find at sas not this particular one but the newer one at 75 percent off i just went 75 yesterday in fact the friend that was following me on instagram went to my store where we had a whole bunch and grabbed all of those um you guys probably saw like this sinus med thing that was in here i took out it's not empty like i don't know my boys put it in here so i took it out i don't know exactly if I, i'm supposed to use these like five days straight i have a little sample but i've only used i think i used two up and i have one in here and yeah so i used it but i i think i'm not using it right but it's good so uh it was highly recommended on youtube and stuff so this one is a pretty decent one wick as well falling flurries i know so many of you that that love this one and maybe looking for the three wick at sas if you guys do find it should be at 75 percent off so three wick that came out last year so that's a pretty good one for a one wick i think i'm always proud when i burn my one wicks because i'm not that good at it so i actually do have midnight blue citrus on right now in the bathroom um so we have my melatonin and you guys already know if you watch me i do take this to sleep and I bought the ones from uh, Bath and Body Works, the Moxie, and they do work. So I do plan on using those up. And then we have Sensitive Skin Dove. Uh, the doctor we took, Alex, he was having like a skin, kind of like a rash because of his eczema. 
and the doctor told him to use Dove and right now he does usually would put eczema cream underneath and then like our Bath and Body Works cream but because of that rash she said don't use that right now uh the Bath and Body Works until you know your rash um from the eczema is gone so she said you gotta use the Dove sensitive skin and a couple she prescribed like this other cream for him and then Dove Pink Rose, you guys know that's the one we use over and over and over. And we'll just take out the other one that's in here. And another one that's in here. And I think that's it because it's just half the month. So we have this one right here. Not good for me. Not for my hands, maybe for yours. Bright summer days, I noticed our fruit uh, smells more like sour or tart on my hands after i wash them i get this scent that i do not like at all i'm sure the coconut milk would have been fine because there's other items i've used and warm sands but star fruit and i know that because of another star fruit uh i think it was a star fruit sangria or something soap that we had did not smell good on me either and neither did my kids like it so they didn't really complain about this one it was just me so but i'm still not gonna get it uh we have gingham fresh love this one i still have a couple more of these and this is just so so good this one sold out so fast at the store the body care has been doing so so well and yeah so there is that one I would definitely repurchase they need to bring it back actually and then we have treat yourself boardwalk vanilla cone i love this scent love you guys should know i love my sweets look look at that ice cream it is so so good so yeah have this one you guys my kids are still asleep and one of them has their alarm on i bet you it's just to get up and play games strawberry snowflakes uh i used this one up i think i put this one in my project use it up i gotta look at that video again to see i've thought last time that i had used up some project use it up things i actually ended up throwing them away i forgot so i was gonna tell you this okay after covid you guys know I, if you guys will do really really watch me that i was complaining about like hair loss and all that because it was like extreme kind of for those of you guys that have had a baby and then after you've had your baby you start losing so so much hair crazy like that a little bit like that but honestly like i felt like even more so i started using this and i feel like it does work like i feel like a lot of my hair you know up in the sides and stuff uh, has regrown and i think you're supposed to continuously use this i'm not sure but there's another one i saw at uh as i was in line at ulta one day that i want to try and i think i'm going to try that one next but if that one doesn't work i'll go back to this so um olay see this is the one they just i don't know so we have another one here i don't know what's what and then this one another one that i feel went bad i'm gonna show you i've been going through my creams this one i was gonna use up i do really like this one so um vanilla woods wicked vanilla woods from halloween i don't know if they're bringing this one back i haven't really paid attention to that like a lot of people have been saying i haven't even had summer because out here it hasn't even been as hot as it usually is it's crazy and i'm like i haven't had summer i don't want to look into fall yet so this is what um the notes are and i feel like it smells good on me i know enchant the pink pepper like a lot of people might not like that note but it smells good on me and I put vanilla 28 on top of this and it's really good. But I was going to show you, right, because I had already cut it up and was trying to use it. And look at how, ugh, I don't like it. When it. Look at how ugly it looks. And when you're putting it on, I feel like I have to rub that yellow in. And But like, it's really bad. I don't know. I'm not going to use it. Yeah, so I have to be very careful with my vanilla scents and use them up faster. So champagne, apple, and honey. I believe this one was part of my uh use it up project use it up that i've used some of the stuff and others i haven't so there is that i do really like that one so that is a repurchase strawberry snowflakes that was part of my project as well i was trying to use up some minis use that one up and we have two of our aqua fresh and then we use the cavity protection toothpaste so we have two of those we have another soap we're almost done here oh this is such a good soap they need to bring this one back so my husband loves this one my best friend's husband like i don't know we were talking about soaps one day and he's like 
do you guys still have more of this one right here? No, I was like, that one was one. And I was like, how funny, because my husband had mentioned how much he loved this one too. This is such a good, good soap. I hope they bring it back. I need to do like a video, like bring like things they need to bring back. That's one of them. Like this soap is everything. So Morphe uh, Continuous Setting Mist. This is really good. It does set my makeup and make it last longer. In my opinion, I really do like it. I think it's about $14. And then we have this uh, Firm Hold Styling Gel Crew. I actually do use this one. Like I started using gel after my husband uh, was using this since he was younger. And this is the one I use. So uh, we used up, this is, we have bought it and I need to buy another one because we're going to be taking another small trip. And just when we go like on a trip to not take the big one and use it up when we get back. So this is what my boys use, Gillette. And yeah, the deodorant. And I used up this Dove. It says men care, but you know all right my phone keeps stopping me from filming but gladly i'm almost done and hopefully i could get this done before i need to look into my storage on my phone again sun drenched linen i actually gave this one to my husband to take to his work and uh he really is liking like the really clean scents so this is what he took to put into his office next and oh, let's see this is a pretty good clean strong wallflower and then a spa day i ended up putting this one in our computer room it's just okay um it is not a favorite so i don't think i'll get it again but bergamot water violet cedarwood oud and vetiver yeah definitely very musky so there is that one and okay so at least that was it for my empties video and my phone did keep cutting me off so i needed to i need to look into it and erase all of these sass walkthroughs and things like that and that is why it is so full so hopefully next time when i go and make a video it doesn't keep stopping me and telling me to manage my storage so i hope that you guys enjoyed this haul i mean I've been hauling so much that I'm like calling this a haul, but empties, empties video. And until the next one, my friends, I love you guys so, so much. And please stay blessed. Bye guys.